Oh, okay. Woo! All right. There we go. Did you get that? <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do, what we got to do is set the, uh, the height. Proper height. I mean, the proper, uh, we got to do a headset adjustment now. So, and to do that, we got to put our handle, handlebar back. Hopefully I put the, everything back the way, the way I found it. Oh, no, I didn't. This is not supposed to be here. Okay, so Hades and Vega has already missed. Okay, so I fixed this speedometer problem. Hopefully, hopefully that's the way it was. Now we're gonna go put our handlebar back on. Ah! Okay, I messed up again. So this, uh, this, uh, the brake sensor wire is supposed to be in front of the the clamp too. So, so yeah, just try to remember how everything went, man. It's. I have to go take the clamp out again. It's easier to take the clamp out now than you know, than uh, than to try to okay maybe take I got stuff off. <laughs> Let's see if I got everything back the way it's supposed to be. No, I didn't. These are supposed to go in front of the clamp. Yeah, we're getting uh, there. <laughs> we're getting there. I just keep on finding something that's like in the wrong place, you know. Let's pull this sucker up all the way. Press the bearings down. Uh oh, what happened here? Oh no. The seal freaking came apart. Hold on. So this little seal can come apart here. Um, just try to make sure it doesn't. <laughs> Don't be too rough with it or else it'll fall apart. Okay, I think I got it now. I think I got it. <laughs> This mega is having such a hard time putting it back together. Not, like I said, I don't remember which way everything went. Okay, and the bar's on there. The gap is quite large now. Yeah, it is. But uh, that's okay, as long as you can put the top cap on. Okay, so now it's time to adjust the headset. And the way we're going to do that. So, uh, in the comparison video, I showed you that... Uh, this is the new part, and this is the old part, and they're literally the same. <laughs> they're, they're the same part, so this is the part that's inside the stem. Um, you don't really need to reinstall that, it's the same part, you know, so... I don't know why they give you a spare one, but that's okay. It's okay to have a spare part, so... Alright, I'm gonna go okay. shift the camera so, angles. Here we go, so now, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the headset tension. Um, basically like how I did in that other video, uh, how to adjust the te headset. Um, so here is... The nut, it barely fits in there. <laughs> I'll tell you that now. It's a little different than it was before. It actually makes the handlebars taller a little bit. Okay, I was able to get it on there. Um, I think before we do this, let's make sure it's pretty... Uh, we're not going to... We can do this later, but I'm just going to make sure the handlebar is pretty even where it should be so we can so when we go move the handlebars around okay so I've tightened the stem nut just a little bit and so now we're gonna start uh, we're gonna make sure that the uh, and make sure that the handlebar is on there properly so. Uh, at the that's, that's the right tension anyways I mean. so make sure the bearings are inserted properly um, which they are and then just go ahead and uh, go ahead and move the handlebar around I think that's okay right there um, what I would do is make it tight and then back off I think, I think that's the best thing to do so let's go tighten this okay so that's too much. It's too tight. 
So now what we're going to want to do is back off a little bit until it starts to move. Uh, the way the way you want it is uh, you want it so like it, the the handlebar moves freely and like it's smoothly and you can just you can barely touch it and it'll move on its own. So right now it's too tight. So I'm going to go loosen a little bit. Okay, that looks good. But you want to make sure you want to make sure it's nice and tight so it um what's the word it uh it seats the bearings properly. Okay, so it's too tight again. But make sure it's too tight first. See it's not it's kind of just staying in position. Then start loosening it. Okay, and then and then you're probably gonna wanna you're probably gonna wanna put the wheel back on and then redo it again. But uh, for now, it's on there. Um, but I would say let's go tighten the upper clamp now. So go ahead and tighten the upper clamp. And that pretty much locks your setting in, your, your adjustment. So that's the rear bolt. Yep, did I get the right one? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, okay. Um, we'll just, um, just make it snug for now. I'm just gonna make sure this one in the back here. Snug. Okay, that should be good. So, so now you won't lose your setting, so. And we're going to go loosen this. There's not a lot of screw left in there, man. You, maybe we probably should get a longer screw. Huh? All right, so that's it. That's pretty much, we're pretty much done already. Um, so now what we got to do is tighten the, uh, let's tighten the, the handlebar. Um, so like I said, uh, what I'm probably going to do, what I'm probably going to do is we're going to put the wheel back on and then we're going to go, um, we're gonna go readjust the tension one more time with the with the gravity with the wheels on the ground. I think it's better if we do it with the wheels on the ground. That way it seats. Okay, the so remember I mentioned that the, I made some marks to make sure we're we're in the proper position. Um, so just move. I'm gonna rotate the handlebars where I think uh, the the marks line up, and we're gonna go snug this real quick so it doesn't move. Put the top nut back on. Okay, so that doesn't really do anything now. Now the um, the clamp is holding everything together. Ooh, okay, so it looks like we got we we got almost a motorcycle. <laughs> oh, we almost have a motorcycle. It's, it's, uh, okay, so now okay, so I'm gonna go put, put the, the caliper back on. Um, I'm just gonna get the stuff out of the way. We don't really need it to be here anymore. This is remember this is just here so uh, so the forks don't fall down. Um, all right, so it, should, it was like this before, yes. Okay. Um, so if you remember correctly, I left the bolts in here so I wouldn't lose them. Uh, when we're done, when we're finally done with everything, we will go torque everything. But for now, I'm just kind of putting stuff back together because I, I want to adjust the headset with the wheels on the ground. So. So if you remember correctly, I made two marks on each hole. So I'm going to try to get it as close as possible to where it was before. I'm gonna go put the wheel back on. So just uh, kind of wheel it in there. Try to get the caliper in place between the pads. Okay, go ahead and put your axle with that eight millimeter Allen daily.
Okay, so this one I will torque. Um, I'll, I'll go torque it right. Okay, so the front axle is only on at 20, about 15 to 22 foot pounds. I want to do 22 foot pounds. I've already got it set up here. <laughs> not very, not very tight. Okay, maybe I over torqued it already. Okay, we'll put our plug back in here. Remember, it's uh, lefty tighty. Okay, and I'm just gonna snug that up. Okay, should be good. And uh, let's see if the wheel spins properly. Looks like the, the bike has sagged since the last time I since the last time I put it on the stand. Okay. Okay. Looks like it spins just fine. Brakes just fine. Good. All right. So that should be it. Um, all right. So the next thing to do is let's lower the bike. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check for play in the headset. Um, to do that, we just give it some front brake and push it forward and backward. And there is some play, I can feel it. Okay. So now that means that means we gotta go re uh, redo the uh, the uh, adjustment. So that's why I said don't fork anything yet. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I could actually feel some play in it, so that's not good. Um, we need to tighten it more. So what we're gonna do is uh, it may be it may be just a little bit tight because there's no uh, there's a lot of lube in there right now. Everything's all tight. It'll loosen up eventually, but I feel that we need to tighten this more. So, so now that the bike is on the ground, it's not the the forks aren't just gonna fall out anymore. It's, that's one reason we want to do it. So what you're gonna want to do is loosen your uh, what you're gonna to want to do is loosen the uh, handlebar here again. Loosen the upper clamp. Make sure it's good and loose so it Loose really, it doesn't bind too much. Okay, so what you're going to want to do now is to uh, your handlebars line up. Go ahead and put the top nut back on. I'm going to put the top nut back on. Tighten it a little bit. Okay, and then we'll go uh, tighten the top clamp again. So it's just kind of this game of just getting the right tension. And then we're going to go check to see if there's play again. Much better. There's no play in it. Maybe it's too tight. <laughs> hold on. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the rear brake and then hold the bike up and then and then move the handlebar around to see how easy this is. It looks okay. I think we got it just right. Uh, alternative what I could do is I could put it back on the stand to move the handlebar. It does feel like it's a little bit hard to move, but it it probably sh it'll probably loosen up eventually. Hopefully. So I'm gonna hold the front brake, move the bike back and forth again. Uh, it probably helps to increase the compression so it doesn't go down so much. Okay, I don't really feel any play, so that feels good. 
Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, let's put it on the stand again, and then uh, and then I will move the handlebars around and see how it feels. But I feel that's good. Um, before before I could feel that it was loose, like it, there was a little bit of play front and back. So so after we tightened it a little bit, um, there there wasn't any more play. So now we might have over tightened it, but I think it's okay if it's you tighten it a little bit too much. Uh, if you over tighten it, it may wear the bearings out faster. So but. But you, it's still got to kind of break in a little bit, you know? Okay, bike's back up in the air. It feels a, it feels a little bit stiff, man. I'm not going to lie. It feels a little bit stiff, but... I, honestly, I didn't really tighten it all that much, man. So, <laughs> so I hope that's okay. Um, what we're going to probably want to do is take the bike for a ride around real quick and then see how it feels. So, uh, but okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go torque the. We're going to go torque the. Okay, uh, we've got a good old Mr. Torque wrench here, so we're going to set Mrs. Torque wrench for five newton meters. Um, it's four to five newton meters is the spec. It, that's what it seems like. Um, all right, so let's back off that a little bit there. So in between four to five. <laughs> It's fine. Okay. And then I'm going to go get an adapter for this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten all these bolts here. So 5 newton meters is what we're, all, we're at, right? And that looks fine. I think it's over torqued. Maybe. Let's just loosen it a little bit. Okay. Tighten it. Okay. Okay, so I pretty much torqued everything to five newton meters. Um, all right, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the bike out for a quick spin. And... <laughs> okay, that was Hayes Omega squidding it up right there. <laughs> so a little bit too big a wheelie right there. Uh, anyway, uh, so so yeah, I took it for a ride. I I did a couple like. Uh, a lot of u-turns and stuff and i popped up and down the curb and stuff so now there's play again um, if i hold the front brake down i move the bike kind of back uh, yeah see I, let me let me get a close-up i'll show you how much play there is there's a lot so you can see that we tightened it quite a bit and it was pretty stiff and then now we got to tighten it again so so it's just this kind of game of setting the setting the tension it, it it seems like it's a it's a little hard it's a little see if i can get this on video for you um, so I'm holding the front brake down, and we're going to go test and see if there's any play. And there indeed is play. I can I can feel it. I don't know if you can see it, but... Yeah, you, you can see it. Yeah, it's pretty loose. See, it's moving around right here. So it needs to be tightened some more. So, All right, So, but I think that's where I'm going to end the day. I'll finish tightening it later. I think that's what you got to do. Okay, so yeah, so, so you can see that um, uh, we uh, we installed the headset and then um, and then we tightened it. We initially tightened it, and it seemed like it was too tight, so I loosened it a little bit, and then uh, and then so now uh, and then what happened was uh, uh, we put the wheel back on and I, I moved the handlebar a little bit. I, I held the brake and I did the the headset uh, test and it. Uh, and it was still it still had play, so we went and loosened everything up again and tightened the tightened the uh, the headset up again a little bit, and it was a little bit stiff. So uh, and then I went and torqued everything, and we took it out for a ride, and then uh, and then now it's loose again. So it it's like you're trying to get those bearings to seat in there properly. So uh, 
So it's just like it's a game of trial and error. So just keep on ride it, ride it, readjust it, ride it again until there's no more play. You don't want any play. Um, yeah, that's about it. So so that's it. That's the that's the end of the video. I uh, hope you guys uh hope you guys learned something. That was a that was the final install step was to just to set, just to set the he headset adjustment. And then uh, I will have an actual, uh, we're going to go right up Mount Hamilton. I, actually, I should probably do a shorter test ride first, though, just to see if it's safe. Um, there is one thing I would like to mention is that this, um, this headset, upgrades headset, it makes your handlebars a little bit taller. Um, and I'll go show okay, you. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, why it's taller. Um, so it will raise your handlebar a few millimeters. All right, so I'm going to take the stem cover off okay and uh, okay so you can see there um, where the stem is there's a gap there's a gap so there's a little bit of a gap right here from where I drew that gold line to the uh, the top of the stem so there's it's about two or three millimeters higher and the reason for that is because the cup the new cup is a lot taller, so this is the little spacer that was on top of everything. You don't reuse this because uh, if we if we did uh, if we did it would be too damn it would be too tall. Um, so you can see that, and you can already see like the the cup is a little bit taller than this. So, so yeah. So it will raise your handlebars a little bit. Uh, I don't know how some other people's mine is not a stock Soran, so it, it just so happens that uh, it's okay for me. Um, because before I had a lot of extra, I had a lot of extra um, space here. I had like about 10 millimeters of space, and now it's only like five now. So, um, so yeah. So that's the dealie. Um, so I still have to uh, to readjust the headset. Uh, hopefully, I'll get it the way I want it. Uh, I will. I will probably make an update. Uh, I'll probably add another clip at the end of this to, to let you know if I, I finally if I ever got it right. <laughs> so hopefully, I do. Um, all right, so I hope you guys learned something. Uh, Ace Mega's got to go clean up. But what a mess is made. All right. Okay, so I'm going to tell you now. Um, so today I put in three hours into this. Um, it was kind of working on and off. So I'm going to say like, let's just say two hours. It, I put two hours into this, and I put an hour into this yesterday. So it took me like three hours to get it to way to where it is right now. And I'm not even done. I still got to finish adjusting the headset. So hopefully I can get it where I want it. Um, uh, so yeah. So 30 minutes to do this? Mm, no, I don't, I don't think so, man. <laughs> um, I guess maybe if you were super proficient at it, then yeah, maybe you could. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think you could do this in 30 minutes. <laughs> um, maybe you could probably do it in half that time because I was like recording video and stuff. So, so yeah, uh, that, that is my realistic opinion of how long this would take. Um, you saw like, so that's pretty much the, everything that I had to do. Uh, I had to take everything apart, put it back in, prep it prep it, put it back together, and now we're at the adjusting part, so we're not even quite done yet. We're about like 98% there, so. Um, so, um, it's a little bit of work. Um, uh, if you don't know what you're doing, I would have like a bicycle shop do it, but but then again, this isn't, these aren't bicycle components, so maybe you might have to take it to a motorcycle shop. I'm not sure, dude. Uh, I don't know if they do this mod on mountain bikes, so that's a good question also, but um, honestly, on a scale of one one to five, how difficult would this be? Like, if you're a pretty proficient wrencher, I'd say like a three point five. Uh, like three point five five being the hardest. So um, it's it's kind of a lot of work, and you kind of have to know what you're doing, and you have to be careful not to uh, not to damage anything. So all right, so so yeah, I'd say it took me like three hours, but. It took me three hours a day, so. <laughs> so okay. All right, here's my go. All right, here's my here. I wound up not working tonight, so uh, I went ahead and adjusted the headset one more time. I kind of cleaned up some of the wiring too. Uh, the headlight was like kind of wrapped around some stuff. So, um, but anyway, uh, so I adjusted it one more time, and I think we got it right on the money. Um, I just I tightened it a little bit more, maybe like almost a quarter of a turn, almost. It's kind of a lot, but. Uh, and then I took it for a spin, and then uh, I, I tightened it every, everything up. I took it for a spin, and uh, and it's fine now. So like, there's no play in it anymore. Um, 
then took it for a longer spin down the street. I can definitely tell the 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 steering feels tight now. Like it doesn't feel like kind of wobbly. So, but uh, we'll have to take it for a longer uh, ride for it to tell that. Uh, I might take it for a longer ride tomorrow, or not, uh, maybe Thursday. I'm going to race track tomorrow. Um, but anyway, um, it's still it's still really uh, it's still really smooth. So if I Here's a little trick you can do to check to see how smooth the, the steering is. You pop the front up. Okay. A little more graceful than that, but and then you can check right here. So see, you can see it, it's pretty smooth. Pretty still pretty smooth and uh, and it's really tight still. So, um, yeah, so that's the headset test right there. No wobble. I know you can't probably see anything, but one thing I don't like is that uh, the place where you check where it wobbles is a little harder to check now because it's it's higher, you know. Um, yeah, so I uh, yeah I took it for a spin and uh, and I liked it. So uh, um, so we'll we'll take it on a longer ride and then we'll, we'll check it. it. So it's just kind of just this game of like you ride it a little bit and then check to see if it's loose. If it's if it is loose, then you know it's. It's the bearings, they all got a seat, you know, um, and it uses gravity and like, it, you know, it uses pulling forces to get the, get the bearing seated properly. And, um, and I feel that, uh, I feel that I, I got it right on the money this time. So, it's all right. Um, uh, that's, uh, that's the last, uh, that's the last clip for the video. Uh, I finally got it the way I want it, uh, but we're going to have to do some more riding and to see if the, the headset will get loose again. And then we'll take it, I will take it on Mount Hamilton and we'll go test it on Twisties out, out there. Um, this is the first time I'm going to take this bike on Mount Hamilton. Um, look forward to that video. <laughs> I don't know, if, I'm pretty sure we're not going to make it to the top, but we can try though. We can try. Alright, thanks for out.